How are we doing today? Nice to see you. Today we're talking about Sigma 18 to 250 macro lens. Stick around. All right. I uh, recently took a look at the uh, Sigma 16 to 300 uh, super zoom lens and uh, it was good, but I wanted to see if there was something else out there. So um, I ordered a Sigma uh, 18 to 250 macro HSM lens uh, and got it in and I've been very happy with the results. Uh, it's 18 to 250, so you're, you're 50 millimeters less. Uh, but the image quality on it is really, really good. At least, at least for me, it is. It works. It works very well. Um, I'll have some uh, sample images up, and also I'll leave my Flickr account address uh, below. Um, first, I'll get to the things that I, I don't like, and it's the same things I don't like with my um, seventeen to fifty, and it's this focus ring. Still, you know, it's it's an old system. You hit the focus button, this thing herky jerks around, and if your hand is in the way, you stop. It stops. It jerks. It it, it doesn't. It won't move. And you got a possibility of breaking the uh, autofocus motor. But um, that is probably one of my major gripes. Next to this, this is this is probably my worst gripe. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Lens creep. And when I say creep, I mean this thing. To, whoop, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> so good thing this thing has a, uh, a lens lock on it, uh, which you will be using a lot uh, if you don't want to be walking through the woods and uh, your lens slinging open on you every five seconds. It's a little bit of a pain, but, you know, uh, for the price of this lens, I got it on a special for $279. Uh, plus, uh, no, 279 no shipping, no tax. And, uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, I, I can live with that. The image quality is really what I cared about the most. And, I mean, I have 18 millimeter lenses. I have 24s, 50s. I even have a, a, a 55 to 250. But I wanted something that was in one package that I didn't have to lug around all these different lenses when I was just going out just shooting. And something that had decent image quality, something that I could take on vacation. Uh, when I was in uh, England and Washington recently, hauling all the different lenses around, you know, we, I don't know, it just kind of wasn't as much fun as if I just had this camera hanging off my side, maybe an extra battery in my pocket and a lens cloth. It's, it's much nicer than hauling around, you know, bags of gear, you know, lenses and tripods and everything else just just for when you're you know you're on vacation you know you want to have fun and go see things and uh i think this lens right here has answered my prayers it uh works very very well so far the image stabilization works very very well i've taken shots at 250 and i'll granted the subject wasn't moving uh, i've taken shots at 250 millimeters down to i believe 1 15th 1 25th of a second so that's pretty good, uh, and with decent sharpness. So uh, I can't complain about that. My biggest complaint with the Tamron 16 to 300 was that at the far end, which is where you're going to be using this lens. I mean, why would you buy an 18 to 250? You want the telephoto part of it. That's let's be honest. You still want to have wide angle to take your normal shots as you're walking around, but you want telephoto. And at the telephoto end, at things that were at a distance. The image quality was not that great. I mean, as far as I was concerned, it didn't resolve the image very well. Now, if I was zoomed in at 300, taking a portrait of somebody, yeah, it worked very, very well. It was, it was a nice picture. This right here takes pretty decent portraits of people. Nice um, at 250 uh, shots of birds. I mean, I've cropped in on some pictures that I've taken uh, with my 7D Mark II and pretty good. It's a little bit slower than my Canon 18 to two, uh, 55 to 250. Uh, as far as acquiring, it's a little slower. Not that much slower. I can totally live with it. I was uh, shooting flying birds just the other morning, and uh, you know, I was I didn't miss very much, other than my own bad shooting. Um, but uh, and the image quality is good. So uh, all in all. 
the Sigma 18 to 250 macro HSM lens. Pretty nice. Pretty nice lens. Um, it's not weather sealed. There's no weather seal like on the Tamron. Uh, yeah, just, uh, you know, drop it in the water. You know, you should be okay. Uh, I actually was out in the rain with it and, you know, it was a downpouring, but and it didn't hurt it. So, you know, it's your standard um, AF switches, OS switches. I mean, it's pretty much your standard lens. Uh, very happy, very happy with it. And um, I would recommend it for somebody if they were looking for a all in all good lens to have on their camera. Like I say, for vacations, walking around, checking stuff out. And it's a great lens. I've had it on my camera since I got it. So that'll tell you. Except for now, I got the 24 millimeter on there for doing some filming. But uh, anyway, uh, if you have any comments, questions, you know what to do. Leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if you like what you see, subscribe and like, share, do all that stuff for me. That'd be great. <laughs> and y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time.